it's that season guys it's miss universe season and i was wrong the other day i thought it was 2021 but it's 2020 yes, even though 2020. we're in 2020 does anyone know why it's called 2020 i guess because they couldn't do it last year but they want to keep it all they in did order. It last year, right? did they i don't know i'm confused anyway, anyway big weekend here in the philippines yes. there's a lot of hype online for this um this is the first time we're kind of diving into it and seeing some of the interviews and some of the yeah. content coming out around Miss Universe. Yeah, we, we did cool. a video on our main channel yesterday on the Juicy Vlog, we'll leave it linked below. And I basically dressed up in my old pageant look. I did compete in one pageant once it in was our awesome. hometown. Trust me. Um, so go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. But that was a lot of fun yesterday. Yes. Um, but today's video is breaking news. Rabaya versus Amanda. So Rabaya Mateo is the Philippines Miss Universe contestant and Amanda is the Thailand one. And it's the Battle of the Brains interview. So. I think these two are kind of quite high up on the ones to watch list. Absolutely. And um, I think they've been asked the same question, it's kind of seeing how they respond. So a lot of being part of a pageant is about interviews and about how you answer questions and your thoughts on things. Obviously it's about the walk and the looks and the beauty and the body and the face and all that as well, but it's also about personality a lot um, and about how you answer questions and what your personality's like and what th what things mean the most to you in life, I suppose. So uh, if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. We're on road to 300K on this channel and it would really, really mean a lot if you could subscribe. Yes, and if you want to send us anything else to react to, send us a message over on Instagram. Yes. Our handles should be on the screen or down in the description. But okay. shall we get into yeah. this one? Ready? Ready, yes. Hello mga pageant masters, this is your maestro Gala PH bringing you the hottest So I and think the this is someone talking who has basically pageant. pieced together this if video If you are new in this um, channel, to please show don't the forget to like, between the share and, and subscribe answers. Hit the um, notification bell for more well. videos Enjoy! And then we'll get into the interviews, here we go you know, I was a young girl, I used to watch Miss Universe on the Very television quiet. And I thought, Mine's not. it's so far, it's so big, I can never get there but to actually be here right now, knowing that in just a couple of days I'll be on that stage. <laughs> it's amazing, she's representing an entire country. It must feel so yeah, surreal. One woman. I'm just, I'm in awe, I'm in shock, and it's Aww. the best feeling in the world. She I'm seems so down to earth. To be here. Very and grounded. There's no way to be on that stage and really perform. And she's appreciating the moment. First of all, it's congratulations. Be... How does it feel to be here? Thank you. It's it feels amazing. It I can't yeah. believe that I'm here. You know, with the COVID situation, I'm so glad that we're all here and that there's so many girls that are able to be a part of this competition. And what it makes me realize is that the world isn't that big. When you see all the girls in the auditorium together from different countries and everyone is so nice and so lovely, they're so warm. And That's I can't good. wait to get to know everyone. And also, it's it's so unique to see that everyone was born into such different cultures, different uh, languages, but we're all here together. See, it's way more than just looks. Mm. Yeah, coming to you and tell your story, that's so true. Just, your, I know you obviously was part of but the physical journey to get here, did you just hop on a plane and get here? Was that easy or not? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> well, Thailand is very far away, that's the one thing. Where is this help? And I really uh, this year it's, had to, it was a, I feel like it's it in America. A to get the visa, but it was a, a long process. And when I got the visa, I was very excited. But the journey here, the physical yeah, journey. Yeah, you forget that technically you, can't believe it, you need it visas and things. Hours, all wow. the way from Thailand, mm. yes. So I had to make a stop at Istanbul. And the layover was eight hours there. Oh Ouch. my goodness. But it was so amazing. I'm so uh, blessed that some of my teams were able to come with me as well, my national directors. So they were there to keep me company, making sure that I'm okay. And yeah, you don't really you know, think about the logistics of getting people from just, all around the you world. You just see them to on the stage place. and they're all there. Yeah. Yes. Oh, did she just come alone? Oh my, it's, it's absolutely everything knowing that you've got that support. It is the motiv motivation that keeps me going every day. Every time I see a message online and they're saying that they're supporting Thailand. And you know, it's so nice to see the nation coming together to support their candidate. 
to support their representative. And it's just how a, con a country thrive because we cannot thrive alone. We have to. Pride is a good word together. with patents, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so I believe, though, that there are some super fans that did make it here. Can you tell me about those super fans? That <laughs> so are these two oh, up against each other, so as in people think it will be one of these amazing. who wins? I've seen Every them together a lot, and I don't know why. I mean, maybe you guys can help answer this, but uh, for some reason, I've seen their names together a lot. Okay. Maybe they're, like, two hot ones to win. But yeah. they've been so supportive, and I actually know quite a few of them. Some of them are big YouTubers in Thailand and flew all the way here just for the competition. But you know, pageantry is so big in my home country, and I didn't actually know it's it big was in big Thailand in Thailand. As well. Yeah. So the whole country gets behind wow. it. They're very supportive, you know, and they're just right behind you. And I just want to say thank you to them for being here. I know that not a lot of people were able to be here, but I want to say. Thank you because her accent is very American. In yeah, Thailand. It makes me smile. I wonder why. It puts a smile mm. on my face. I mean, it makes me want to make my day better. I want to go better, and I want to go in with 100% to do whatever it takes. Wonderful. Uh, one last question. Oh, a couple last questions. How how has it been on the ground? How has you know the week? She's smiling so much. Such a nice smile. Yeah. But her cheeks must hurt. She's like this constantly. What is it like here? It is incredible. It's an incredible journey to have been able to meet all of the girls. Because you know when you know of each other online and you've been messaging, you're on WhatsApp, there's a WhatsApp group, you've been talking, but then- <laughs> They have a WhatsApp group. That's so funny, funny, isn't it? In reality, it's just a whole different feeling. And it's just so nice to get to know them better and to know their stories because each of them are so inspiring and they're so empowering and they have different stories that make them the woman that they are today and i think it's just unique to get to know them in some countries sport is like okay we switched philippines interviews i don't know about these questions it feels like they're not asking that many different questions that's true you know what in the philippines we have pageants all over the places Yes, we have pageants in the barangay, in school, national, local. That's why we really love Miss Universe. It's so it's big like, in the Philippines. It's yeah. giving pride and putting the Philippines back on the pedestal. That's why there's an added pressure as a candidate coming from mm -hmm. a pageant-loving country. But it's a good pressure. Do you know where she's from? I always from? look up to our I former Miss Universe Philippines. Oh, I'm oh, 100%. Really? Let me check. The competition. And now this is my time to show who I am, you know, to offer what Rabia can show to the rest of the universe. Rabia. That's Rabia. what I'm very happy. Um, and at the same time, I'm excited to make all my Kababayans proud. And hopefully I do. Ah, Palasan. Oh, okay. Cool. They have appreciation for me. We do love pageant because we, we used to think that um, we wanted to be included in, in the world, you know. Uh, I have to be honest, in the Philippines, my skin color used to be not the standard of beauty. I was obsessed whitening my skin because these are the kinds yeah, of beauty that's a big we thing, see huh? um, on the mainstream. But things were different now. That's why I'm very proud to be a morena in the Philippines. Um, we call it morena. It's brown That's skin good. girl. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Able to represent, Body. you know, my color, my identity as a true Filipina. That's nice. Really, really nice. nice. Journey to being crowned Miss Philippines. That, you know, in a world that, uh, in a country, I should say, that loves pageants. That must have been a very intense. Yeah. Process. I guess in countries where it's so popular, it's even harder to win well, for your country. Well, my journey was crazy. You know what? I started to be a dark horse. Nobody noticed me. Nobody knows I was in the competition up until the preliminary and the coronation night. And when I won, I received different comments. Of course, there were people who didn't expect me to do well, who think that I cheated. That's why I, I need cheat? to Sad. redeem myself in Miss Universe. I really need to do well in this competition. So she's got a lot of pressure and on her, I guess. Shame though, is, she doesn't have to prove it to those people. I, yeah. I love pressure. I she love loves criticism. doing it. Yeah. I get better every it day It pushes with that. her in yeah. a good way. I cannot do that. I turn to you and I, I'm going to say that, no, I can do it for myself. <laughs> that's good. For yourself, so that's, that's cute. really good. To be on the 
global How? stage. How do you feel to be here in this moment right now? It's crazy, but I'm I'm overwhelmed with the support, not just from the Filipino community, but also from Thailand, um, Latin countries who do appreciate me as a candidate, as a person. It, it motivates me that I am beautiful. I can offer so much in this world, and when somebody believes in you, it gives you that extra energy to really do well and perform well. Do you have a sense with the girls, all of the girls competing? You're competing. But is there a sense of camaraderie? With That's your, true, because they are against each other, spirit, really. So, you know, sort of um, motivate each other to do better. You know what? I have a different idea about Miss Universe. I thought it's going to be very competitive. I love how animated she is with her hands. Yeah. yeah. Of course. But now I can see every girl helping each other from That's fixing nice to know. those hairs. I didn't know that. From trying to zip up those outfits. It speaks of the closeness and the kind of camaraderie that we want to have. The goal of Miss Universe is not just to crown one girl, but also to build a genuine and long-lasting friendships among us. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Within the Miss Universe world, the contestants, is there a sisterhood? Are you sisters? There, there is sisterhood. I can say I was able to talk to different um, representatives from different backgrounds, different cultures. So they're all learning stuff as well. Yeah. 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 There's so much to be had. And it's going to be a much more, much it's going to be a much more enjoyable process if you're getting on with each other, yeah. and having and fun. It is, it's a deeper thing than people first think. Sometimes we want to have yeah. our advocacy. We want to speak for the things that we love, and that's that's a celebration. She's of so the uplifting to listen to. Confidence. She's comes very through. motivational, and She's, you feel like, yeah, I yeah, can do it. <laughs> confident without being cocky. Yeah. yeah. And that, that would be wonderful. Seems like a nice person. Really nice. They both do. Yeah. What do you think you will feel at the end of this week, regardless of the result? How will you be a different person? It's. it's I wonder if they were given the questions the before as well. I was able to. Have they seem very prepared. For yeah. Preparing for this dream, I will be honest. <laughs> preparing for this There was interview. a moment that I lost my identity because I was put under pressure. I was in that position in which I feel like I'm not good enough. I'm not a good representative of my country, but I was able to bounce back stronger. That's good. And if I was able to do that for Miss Universe, I will be able to do that in life. That is my greatest takeaway from... That's nice. Really so good. she okay, so is looking at the bigger picture as well from fans. it, learning yes. from it. I want you to give us Aww. a little bit of a message to the fans here and at home. But Send a message. What would you say to all the fans in the Philippines? To all my fans from the Philippines and from all over the world, maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for loving me and for believing in me. It means a lot to somebody who is so naive in this industry, who has no idea how to become a beauty queen on the first day of Aww. my journey. But because of your love and support, I was able to be the woman that I am today. And regardless of the result, I may or I may not win the crown, but one thing is for sure, I'm gonna make you all proud. Oh, so nice. So nice. That's awesome. Really I enjoyed sweet. that. I feel like she's very. Um, she, it's almost like she's got a lot of pressure behind her. Um, but she's using but, it in a positive yeah, way. Yeah, she's like, I'm gonna take this pressure and I'm gonna make you proud no yeah, matter what. It's I love really that. nice. Both of them spoke really well and nicely. They did, and there's a lot more. I love hearing about what it means to them. It's yeah. not like, oh, I'm the prettiest and I've got the yeah. best dress. Yeah, true, true, it's true. It's like there's a lot of yeah. more deep... Um, meaning. Wholesome meaning behind yeah. it. It's quite nice. Well, but if anyway. you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment below who you are rooting for, who you think is going to yes. win the competition. It's exciting. We'll and try and watch it. Yeah, please subscribe if you're new and keep your eye out for uh, more pageant reactions, more Miss Universe reactions coming yes. very soon. All right, we'll see you, see you in the next time. one. Bye.